previously on Ready to so Die. So am I going to use this any going forward? No. This is for the best, man. Oh, well. How y'all feeling, my people? Fresh off my eight mile run this morning, drinking my tea, recovering. How many miles you do today? How you feeling today? Talk to me. Let's let's have this conversation. But I wanted to switch things up, right? Instead of just telling you a review on what the shoe did, I wanted to take you through a week of my training block. So I'm right now. I'm training for the NYC half, and my goal is a little bit out there. My goal is to run. <laughs> The half, NYC half, 13.3, 13.1 miles under one hour and 22 minutes. Now, is that possible where I'm at right now in February? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? My last, I just did a half marathon in Central Park. That one was about 144. And I didn't go super hard. And Central Park is a difficult course. It's a lot of hills up and down, going round and round. But we're going to see. So I figured I'd take you through basically my week in training in this shoe, which is a really, which is a pretty good shoe, the New Balance Rebel V3, and I did a little bit of everything in there. I did easy runs, speed intervals, fart leg workout, speed, <laughs> more speed intervals, more easy runs, and then I topped it off with a um, eight mile run this morning, which concluded my my training for this week, so I can finally get some rest. And everything I threw at this, all right, first and foremost, this, it's been pretty cold. I'm right, right now, I'm in New York, right? And it's been pretty cool in New York. We had, last Saturday, it was four degrees, just to let you know where we at. This is, like I said, this is the middle of February. Whenever you're watching this, this is to give you an idea. These kept my feet, every run that I had in these, no matter how cold it was, my feet were super duper warm. Really warm. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't experience any um cuz the whole thing about this special edition is this supposed to be waterproof keep the wood keep um keep your feet dry keep the snow out no matter what conditions you throw at it they're supposed to last and make sure your feet stay dry I didn't experience any of that it didn't rain or it didn't snow when I ran this week but like I said it was very cold this week and this shoe kept my feet warm. Like, my, my feet freezing wasn't a factor. Now, my hands on the other hand, I lost my hands a couple of times. I almost got frostbite, I feel like, three, four times this week. That's how cold it was. But I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed running this shoe. So, my first run was an easy run, right? I was supposed to do an easy three-mile run. I mean, not three-mile. An easy 30-minute run. That was Monday. And that was my first, this is my first time putting this shoe on my foot. When I say I was just, yo, everything about this shoe was just amazing. Take, now this doesn't have as much stack as the SC Trainer, which I have right here, which I love this shoe, right? This shoe is definitely a lighter version of this shoe without the plate, because that fuel cell, I love the miss on this. But I put it on, and this is after a long day, I'm feeling good, I had a, I had a good breakfast, lunch, and di well not dinner yet, but a good breakfast and lunch, and... When I say I took off running in this shoe, I was like, wow, if this is where I'm starting for this week, then I know I'm going to have a master on this week. Now, my first reaction to this shoe was getting used to having a shoe tie system like this where you, be, where you don't tie the laces, but instead you have this, I don't even know what you want. I don't even know what to call this. 
but you just tighten the shoe like this was was interesting because I needed to tuck this in someplace because feeling this just bobble around while I run it did feel like my shoes were untied and it was something to get used to but the shoe was so light and the fuel cell was so responsive that first mile I was like yo if this I think I ran that and like I said it was supposed to be an easy run and my easy runs are like 8.30 pace. But I ran that by on a, a 7.30 pace by accident. Like complete accident. I ran 7.30. I don't even know how I did it. So yeah. So going into the first day. The first day of the week. I'm like yo. Did I find the perfect daily trainer? I might have. And I, I stumbled on this. This shoe was on sale for $100. Which was kind of crazy. Um, Yeah. So I'm feeling good. The next day. Tuesday. Tuesday was my first day of um, having a more intense, more intense training. So Tuesday was my first speed work intervals, which was I did I think I did a thousand meters at five at ten k pace, five hundred meters at five k pace, um, four hundred meters at ten k pace, two hundred meters at five k pace. It was just basically I did like a three thousand meter. We did like I think it was a thousand. 5,000, I mean, sorry, 1,000 meters, 500 meters, 400 meters, 200 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters. It was crazy. And then 100 meters. It was crazy. It was real intense. And uh, I'm feeling, after the workout, my, my half mile cool down, I even kind of sprinted that because I kind I felt really good. The speeds that I was doing, like, after the fact was kind of, I was like, wait, hold on, what? I'm in 550? Going around the track, so on the track, I, this thing, again, I'm holding up good. I'm thinking like, this is the shoe. This might be my, I was like, dang, is this my favorite non-plated workout shoe? I don't I don't know, but at this point, I'm loving it. These shoes have been amazing. The ride on it, the ride in these are amazing. If, you, if you've ever tried these, let me know. Like, this is my first time trying uh, the Rebel, any Rebel version, and it's been flat out amazing. And this is making me realize New Balance, well, you, you, I don't know if you've seen my last video. I loved the New Balance More V3. That was one of my favorite shoes ever, like ever. That Max Cushion Warrior turned to my daily trainer and I've been trying to fill the void of missing that shoe in, in, ever since. I have been using this shoe a lot and this has been my favorite, like my favorite shoe up until this point, but this shoe, because you could do everything in this. You could do short miles, long miles. It doesn't even matter the distance. The stack on this is good. But every time I run, I don't want a high stack shoe. So this was holding up. Now, I didn't realize how beat up my legs were on Tuesday. So Wednesday's fart leg was tough. And I say tough, it was tough. But towards the end, when I finally was able to shake my legs out, the shoe still felt good. It's like once I hit the zone, just like... If you've ever run in the SC trainer and you wanted to compare the two, you know, once you get going, this shoe is just flat out insane. And I mean, it's just flat out insane. The fuel cell midsole, it doesn't have a pop. It's very soft. Like, this is one of the softest shoes I think I've ran in and then just felt good. Or it, I should say like this. This is one of the softest. This is what I thought the SL was going to feel like. It's super soft. It doesn't have a lot of stack. You're able to get to whatever speed you want to get to. I mean, you do have to work a little bit because there's not any plate. There's no plate to really give you that extra. I mean, it has a lot of rigidity. It has a lot of pop, as you can see. It doesn't have the plate, but it still gets you where you need to go. Okay. Now I'm back to the track. So my coach had me. I signed up with a coach to help me get through this. So I did this time on the track, the speed intervals. It was a mile, two mile. I did a three mile warm up, which was a lot. I probably should never did that. But anyway, I don't care. I'm a rebel. Then I did 1,000 meters, 1,000 meters, 1,000 meters. 10K pace, 5K pace, 10K pace. Somehow I got through it. <laughs> Somehow I got through. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And that that day it was super cold on the track so while i was resting in between in between the intervals i would rest for 90 seconds and in between all of those rests my feet again i didn't lose my feet my feet were super warm my hands on the other hand at this point i was i basically have frostbite i, I don't know i need 
I need better gloves. I got the gloves I got right now are fuse gloves, but maybe I need mittens because gloves aren't working. Maybe I need my hands closer to my fingers close to each other so it can hold on. But for right now, I don't know. But yeah, that would that felt pretty good. Then it came to my easy. This is now we're on fr now we're on Friday, right? Because Monday Monday was the easy run. Tuesday was the speed intervals. Wednesday was the fart leg, which was was tough. But my legs warmed up, and eventually I got to it. Thursday was the speed. <laughs> I know my coach really tried to kill me, all because he saw my half marathon speed. He was like, 144, no, we got to do better than that. Mind you, I'm like, yo, bro, chill. I was chilling. Like, I wasn't even going hard. But he didn't even, he's not even, he doesn't want to take the BS. So, yeah, he, he tried to murder me this week. Friday, back to the easy run. Now, on my easy run, this is where my legs were so beat up, I needed a max cushion shoe for that. So, this shoe still felt great, but I think I needed a, I needed something with more stack after those long workouts. So I probably shouldn't have wore this again. Nah, my feet, my feet are, my feet are toe up at this point on, on Friday. And today's Saturday, right? Overreaction Saturday. I'm back with, I went, I went for the eight mile run. And mind you, I was hitting the gym every day this week too. So I, I actually probably put in more miles just because I would hit the treadmill and run on the treadmill. So I probably ran like two miles every time I went to the gym. I went to the gym, I think, three days this week or four days. No, four days this week I went to the gym to do legs. I do push, pull, legs, um, that kind of situation. And they still they held up really well. They hold up well on soft, on soft surfaces like the track and the treadmill. And then they hold up very well on hard surfaces. On, on the road, I just haven't tried it on the trails. I'm pretty sure on the trails, this, this will feel good too. But if you're looking for a daily trainer with not a lot of stat, this might be a guy right here. I don't, and for $100? New Balance, thank you. So this has me excited because I didn't think I wanted to try the, um, what is it called? The SC Elite? I think the Super Comp Elite? I didn't want it, that wasn't on my radar. But after trying this shoe and this shoe, I might just have to give it a go. I think I have to give it a go. Because Fuel Cell is amazing. Wow. New Balance. Thank you, guys. Like I said, there's no... I have no knock. As soon as I put this shoe on my foot, I feel like I turned to a whole different person. Like, <laughs> I turned to a whole different runner. Nothing. I had no pain. The upper on this is actually super soft. It's very amazing. It's very light. The laces are amazing. Adidas takes some notes. Um, the only thing I had to get used to, but again, you could just there's different versions of the shoe, and you could get the shoe without this, right? This is just the the version that had that's built for like water resistance and all of those other stuff. Like if you get the regular version, it comes with regular laces that you could tie. This fuel cell is really something else. All right, so but anyway, back to my back to my eight mile run. Once you get going in this shoe, once your legs warm, you get going. This reminds me, and I know a lot of people don't like it, but I hit this cadence once I my legs really warm up and it opens, and it really opens. It really opened up in these. I will say there were certain times during the run I would look down at other people's shoes, see what they were wearing, like from Brooks, see a couple of people in like Adidas, and it made me miss my Boston 11s because the Boston, I, I will say this, I don't feel like I'm the fastest in the shoe, like I feel like I can hit a lot of crazy speeds, but this is definitely an amazing daily trainer, and I highly recommend it. The upper is great, the, outs, the outsole, very, it grips the ground very well. The midsole is super duper soft. And I mean super duper soft. You can't lose. If you're a heel striker, if you're a four foot striker, you're a mid foot striker, this is really the one for you. I have no knocks against this shoe. Like it's everything just feels amazing. This you put this on your foot, it's like, oh wow. You feel like you turn into a whole different runner. It's kinda like um any of those games like Rocket, not one of those, like one of those games like Mario. Right and in Mario, when you hit the um, when you get the mushroom and you just feel, or you hit the star, and you're like, da -da 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 -da, and you out. That's what this shoe feels like on the foot. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep rocking this one heavy. 
this is like the only thing is I probably won't do my longer distances in this shoe because I do miss the plate. So I will be running my longer distances in this shoe or my favorite shoe right now. I probably run like my longer distances in this. If I had to choose between the two of these, I don't think this is really this is like the no frills, I need a daily trainer that's easy. Honestly, Nike, Pegasus, take notes. This is what the Pegasus should be. But this is the luxury Mac Daddy right now. This is the king of the hill in terms of if you're looking for an amazing daily trainer, I think this is the one. But if you don't have $225 to shell out, I guess I got this one sale for $100. This shoe retail, I think, for like $120. $120. I got it for $100. Still, looking for a shoe to keep you warm in the wintertime, this is definitely the one. But yeah, you know, so as I'm in my training block getting ready for this marathon, I don't know what to expect. I'm <laughs> hopefully I can make it. My my trainer, my trainer, my coach is trying to kill me, but I survived, and I think half of me is gonna survive this shit. So yeah, it's your boy Teo. I don't have much to say. Holla at me. Let's we gonna. I'm gonna finish my tea, and for that, I'm out. Peace.